Rod. It's about 8.30 in the morning on Thursday, April 22nd, and uh, I had an awesome night last night. Super quiet, super peaceful. Actually, I had internet service out here in the middle of nowhere. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I just got about 10 or 15 minute drive to get to Canyonlands National Park, so that's where I'm heading. All right, so I'm into the park. I've got my map and my newspaper, and um, it's absolutely spectacular in here. I'll turn the camera around uh, and show you what I'm looking at here shortly, but uh, they actually did charge this morning. A lot of the national parks I've been to haven't been charging, which is kind of disappointing because I bought that America the Beautiful Parks Pass for 80 bucks, but by my calculations, I think I was charged at Acadia in Maine, Everglades in, in Florida, and here. And so that gets me over the $80 mark. I'm at like 90 or 100 bucks. So I got my value for it, and I was happy even to not get my value just because I want to support the National Park Service. But um, anyway, the, par the Parks Pass paid for itself. And uh, now I'm just pulled over, taking in the scenery, and going to uh, look over the newspaper and the map and try to figure out a game plan for today. Alright, so it's about 9.30. Uh, I think I've got a game plan for the day. I uh, stopped by the visitor center and they had water available so I topped up, topped up all my water cans. And um, now I think I'm going to do, there's a two mile hike um, at the Grand Viewpoint Overlook which is supposed to be really nice and offer really good views of the whole canyon area. So that's where I'm headed right now and then that should leave me plenty of time afterwards for lunch and some driving around in the rest of the park. So. Enjoying the day, it's beautiful. It's about 55 degrees and sunny. Uh, so I'm looking forward to another really good day. All right, so it's about 10 a.m. and I've made it pretty much to, there's two entrance points that I can tell to the National Park. And I'm on the Northern one, which is the Island in the Sky Visitor Center area. And I'm only gonna be able to do this section today, but uh, I've reached the southernmost point of that section that you can drive on. And uh, I'm gonna do a hike. There's a two mile out and back. Uh, that's supposed to be really nice, so I'm going to do that. And then, honestly, I think I'm going to pop the top and just relax and do some reading because I got amazing views of the canyon. I actually have cell and internet service on my phone, which is the first time I can remember in any of the national parks that I've ever visited. And it's super quiet. I thought there was going to be throngs of people at this place, but I guess they're all at arches down the road because there's almost nobody here. It's awesome. So, anyway, that's the plan. I'm going to go for a little jog and then I have some lunch and uh, do some relaxing in the tent. All right, so it's about noon. I uh, made it back from my little jog, which was amazing. Um, and then made some lunch, and now there's like amazing, an amazing picnic area where I am, and the views are insane. So I just went ahead and popped the tent up, and I'm gonna read for a few hours and just relax and enjoy um, the serenity of it all. So um, after that, then I'll probably drive around a little bit more and uh, head back to camp. All right, so it's about 2.30. Uh, I just had a couple of hours of solid tent and reading time. Um, what a treat that was. The views are awesome. 
And uh, now I'm just kind of working my way back through the park, um, hitting up a couple of spots that I might have passed by, um, just taking in a little bit more of the views before heading back to camp. So it's about 4.30 and uh, just now leaving Canyonlands National Park after I stopped and grabbed some water. Uh, pretty much any time I've got the opportunity to refill water, especially drinking water, I have to take advantage even if I'm not even low because I don't know how long it'll be until I get it again. But anyway, what an awesome day. Uh, man, I'd never really heard about Canyonlands National Park before uh, my time out here, but I'm so glad I came. Can't recommend it enough um, if you're in the area. It's certainly different than uh, arches and that's just 10 20 30 miles up the road so amazing how this area is such diverse landscape uh, in such a small compact area so anyway tonight i'm gonna head back to camp and tomorrow morning head out to capitol reef national park which is another one that i wasn't familiar with and hope to learn a lot more about thanks for watching